Here we go again. Today, I'll be showing you 10 pranks you can play on your friends in Minecraft. I can't wait! Prank 1. Don't open the box. For this prank, you'll need a trap chest. You need to sneak into your friend's house, then place the trap chest down somewhere. Once you've found a spot for the trap chest, you can move on. Here. Install a redstone repeater somewhere around here. After that, get out some redstone dust and place it underground, like this. This will act as a connecting wire. Then, dig out another hole. This looks good. Now then, it's time to lay the TNT down. I want to make sure everything looks okay. The floor and the walls need to look exactly the same as they did before. You can't let any of the wire show. I'll take care of that next. There, it's all hidden. I'd say we're just about finished. Okay, I'm coming home. All right, let's go. Whoa! Hmm? What the? There's a chest here. Where's it from? Maybe someone gave me a present! I'll open it! Three, two, one! I'm so happy! Wait! <laughs> no way! Prank 2. The floor is magma. Let's do this thing. Oh, there's a carpet on the ground. That's gonna be super useful for helping this prank succeed. First, we have to peel the carpet off. Then, underneath where the carpet used to be, we'll replace the floor with these magma blocks. There we go. Now we just have to put the carpet back to the way it was. After that, we're all done. Nice! Finally made it home. All right. I better lock the door. Good. Now what can I have for a snack? Oh, what's the pot? I must be imagining it. Wait, no, I'm not! Prank 3. Tree planting. Oh. I'm home again. For this prank, you have to wait until your friend goes inside. What you want to do next is plant a bunch of seedlings surrounding their house, just like this. The more you can plant, the better. This looks pretty good. Plant as many seedlings as you can while your friend is still inside. There! I think that's going to be enough. I planted a lot. Time to watch him grow. Once the trees get to be about this tall, your friend is going to notice a big problem. I think I'll go outside. I could use the fresh air. Huh? Wait, what? No way! The trees are everywhere! It's gonna be really difficult for Mikey to chop down all these trees. This is an awesome prank. I'm already getting lost! Four, a fake treasure map. Let's get started. See this picture frame? This piece of paper is gonna have coordinates leading to a hidden treasure. Watch this. The X coordinate is 1048, and the Y coordinate is 62. The Z coordinate will be 850. These coordinates will lead Mikey a thousand kilometers away from here. I'll leave the paper here. That's a wrap on the first part of our fake treasure map prank. Now let's zoom over to the coordinates. We made it to the location of the fake treasure. What should I fill this chest with? How about some rotten flesh? That's a treasure nobody will want. Our fake treasure map prank is complete. Home. Hmm? What's this? Weird. Wait. <gasps> it's a treasure map. These are coordinates. But it's so far away. Why don't I check it out? Let's see where the map goes. It should be around here. I traveled a thousand kilometers. Hmm. Huh? It's here. After so long, I finally made it! I bet I'll find something super cool in here! Oh, it's a treasure chest! Sweet! Open! Hmm? Huh? I came all this way! For rotten flesh! Prank 5, End Crystals I'm about to craft an item called an end crystal. It can be made out of glass, an eye of ender, and a gas tear. Perfect! Once you're done, you need to place it on top of an obsidian block. Let's see, where should I set it up? I know. I'll place it right in the middle of Mikey's house. That way he can't miss it. That works. There. Whoa, awesome. 
This trap is super dangerous. You have to be careful with the end crystal. It's really pretty, but you can't collect it once you put it down. The only way to destroy it is to detonate it. Now, unfortunately, it's really easy to detonate. I'm breaking the obsidian. There, all done. Okay. There we go. Like I said, this prank can be really dangerous, so be careful. Now let's wait for Mikey. Yes! Home sweet home at last! Yay! Hmm. What's this? It's so pretty! I love it! But it's kind of in the way. It's right in the middle of the house! I should move it. This'll do. Okay. Three, two, one. Prank 6. Snowy Pitfall Trap this prank has a higher chance of success if your friend builds their house in a snowy biome. Let's do it. First things first, I need to dig out an enormous hole in front of Mikey's front door, just like this. This will be the main part of the pitfall trap. The deeper it goes, the better it'll be. I think we can make it pretty deep. I'll keep digging for now. Let's see. I think that's good. Hmm, I'll stop around here. I just need to cover up these openings. Perfect! Now that the pitfall part is finished, it's time to move on to the next step. Scaffold blocks. What you want to do with these is stack them up really high, as high as you can. Then, once you're up here, spread the scaffold blocks across the top of the pitfall. All done! Check it out! If you break the scaffold at the very bottom, then all the scaffold blocks above it will collapse. I'm gonna build a device that breaks the bottom scaffold automatically. First, I just need to put a piston here. Then, I'm gonna make a trail of redstone going all the way to the top, just like this. Through here. What's next? I'll do it like this. Add some redstone at the top. That looks good. I'll lay it out like this. Perfect. The wiring's complete. Next, I need to put some snow in front of the door. While I'm at it, I'll put some pressure plates out here too. What else? Oh, I need to cover everything so Mikey can't see the wires. I should add a layer of snow. Now then. I'm gonna need a bunch of sand to cover these scaffold blocks. Last but not least, I'll add the top layer of snow as camouflage. Okay, this is great. As soon as someone steps on these pressure plates, the pitfall will open. This weather is great! I'm heading out. All right, I'm on my way. It's such a fear, huh? What? This must happen! Prank 7. Too many chickens. The goal of this prank is to spawn as many chickens as you can before your friend notices. I'm gonna start by setting up in the attic. I'll make an opening in the ceiling here. That's perfect. In order to keep spawning chickens, we're gonna need a dispenser up here. That should do it. Okay, as soon as I cover this hole back up, we can move on. I'm gonna put a hopper right next to the dispenser. What should I do next? I need to install a comparator and add another level like this. Now I'll finish making the rest of the circuit. Once I do that, I can cover the hopper with a wooden slab. That way I'll have a little area with enough space to store the chicken. There we go. Okay, now for the chickens. The more chickens I spawn here, the better. In that case, I'm gonna spawn as many as I can. I'll have to wait a little while for the chickens to grow up though. Oh well. I think they're ready. The chickens are fully grown. As soon as one of them lays an egg, it'll shoot out of the dispenser. I'm gonna make sure it works from down there. Oh wow, it works! Wow! They're hatching! The eggs are hatching! Two of them! This is great! I can't wait to see this house get filled with chickens! I'm leaving home! 
Phew! Wait a sec! No way! How did all these chickens get in here? This doesn't make any sense! What? Prank 8. Pufferfish under the floorboards. For this prank, after you get inside, you need to clear out the entire floor of your friend's house, just like I'm doing. Break those blocks. Hmm. Okay. Now for the next step. Take out some slabs and make a new floor one block beneath where the old floor used to be. Perfect. Next, fill up the entire space with water. Make sure there's water everywhere. After that, take out your slabs again. Cover the surface of the water, but don't forget to leave a little opening. Okay, I think that should work. Now it's time to summon an army of pufferfish. Almost ready. I just need to cover this opening. Perfect. This prank is good to go. Let's wait for Mikey. Awesome! I'm finally home! I should check on my treasure. Let's see. Oh, there they are. Wait, what's going on? Who's there? What? Huh? Prank 9. Fire! If your friend has a house with a lot of treasure in it, then I recommend this prank. The first step is to get inside. Nice treasure. Next, you'll need to clear out the floor. I'll take care of that. While I'm here, I'm going to dig another layer down so it's deeper. The next step is to fill the area with campfires. They'll release smoke into the rest of the house. Make sure you cover the entire floor with them, like this. It's hard to see. I'll put the floor back to normal. This is going to be awesome. Woohoo! It looks like there's a real fire in here. What does it look like from the outside? You can't really see the smoke from out here. In that case, I'll set up something similar in the front yard. I'll just dig another hole around the perimeter of the house. This shouldn't take long. It's the same trap as inside. There. Now we're going to place campfires along the bottom of the moat. Mikey's going to think that all his super important treasures are on fire. I bet anyone would be shocked if that happened to them. Just a few more. Finally, we'll have to cover up the fires with grass blocks. This is great. Everything's looking good. This prank is ready to go. It actually looks like this building is on fire. Let's go ahead and try it out on Mikey. Yes, yes, yes! Time to check on my treasures. Huh? My house! It's, this is awful! It's on fire! What do I do? Somebody help! How do I put it out? I know, but I need some water. What? Why isn't it working? Huh? Wait, hold on a second. Where's the fire? Prank 10. Turn everybody upside down. This is a great prank to pull off when your friend lives in a village. Check it out. This is Mikey's house. The first thing you need to do is add a name to an anvil with a name tag. Let's use Dinner Bone for this one. Perfect. For the next step, I'm going to add a name tag to every single person in the village. Stay tuned, because once I'm done, something outrageous will happen. Watch. It worked! The cow is upside down! Anything that gets named Dinner Bone will flip upside down. This is awesome! Let's name the horse Dinner Bone. Whoa! I can even do it to villagers, too! I'm going to turn all these horses upside down. This is so funny. Oh, an iron golem. I wonder if it'll still work. Wow! Another villager. I'm giving the name to everybody. I'm even turning the cats upside down. Whoa! Oh, let's do the bee. Sweet! I've turned all the people and animals in this village upside down. <sighs> that was a great sleep. I'm going to say hi to everyone in the village. Let's go. Huh? What? Huh? is upside down. Uh-oh. That's not good. The animals. The villagers. They're all upside down. What? How come everyone is upside down? Even the horses, too? This is terrible. Quick, open the door, JJ. What's going on? Uh... Oh, I know where Snow Mountain is. It's pretty far away, so we better get moving as soon as possible. I can lead the way. Over here. Snow Mountain is in this direction. Mm -hmm. At least I think it is. Come on! Let's go! We can do this! 
Snow Mountain, here we come. Let's go, Mikey. You're finally gonna see your mama again. Come on. Whoops! Whoa! Whoa! Hey, 